Hi, Gami here. Today we're going to learn materials. To convert an image file to be a texture and source, we need to make it into a .vtf, the material file type source uses. To do this, get your image, make sure its width and height are both a power of 2, then open up VTF Edit and click Import from the File menu or hit Ctrl I. Bring in your image, and in this dialog we can set other compression settings. If the settings here are different to what you want, right click any element here and all the settings will be reset to their defaults. Now click OK, and once the texture appears, we can save it as a VTF file, so we can move it to the Materials folder in our Games directory. Now it's time to write the VMT, the actual material that will be displayed in-game. At the top is our shader, Lightmap Generic, and inside its brackets we'll set that shader's parameters. Since this material is simple, all I felt like doing was setting the base texture, which is this example texture with its relative path to the materials folder, and also setting the surface properties value. To get a texture to look right when in-game, where lighting and other effects will affect how it looks, I always try to imagine what the base texture would look like on a grey, cloudy day, because when it's overcast there's no direct or coloured light anywhere to distract you. If you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm trying to take a grayscale version of the texture and make it into an interesting specular map, which will determine how shiny each pixel of the texture will appear in-game if it's in a map with built cube maps. If you're using normal mapping on your material, keep in mind you have to put the specular map in the bump map's alpha channel, not the base textures. I end up inverting it here because specular maps are inverted when in the base texture. This is so that if you're making a window material, we can use the base's alpha channel for both a specular map and for translucency. Also because Valve are annoying. In our new material file, I assign the base texture and also add in the parameters for our specular map, affecting the reflection's RGB values, saturation, and contrast. As a note, if you're using Hammer in conjunction with a different game to the one you'll be playing the map on, make sure your assets are in the directories of both games. Et voilà.